Welcome back, Flare community. Today, we are going to be discussing non-fungible tokens and Flare Network's latest partnership with Gala Games. Before we talk about this partnership, we first need to understand what NFTs actually are and how Gala Games are using them to give value back to their gamers. So what are NFTs? NFTs or non-fungible tokens are digital assets which represent a wide range of unique items from collectible sports cards to virtual game assets like weapons or costumes. One of the main benefits of owning a digital collectible versus a physical collectible like a rare minted coin for example is that each NFT contains distinguishing information that makes it distinct from any other NFT, which makes it easily verifiable. This makes the creation and circulation of fake collectibles pointless because each item can be tracked back to the original issuer. Unlike regular cryptocurrencies, NFTs cannot be directly exchanged with one another. This is because no two NFTs are identical. You can think of non-fungible tokens as passports used to travel. Each passport contains specific information including the owner's name, age and nationality. This data makes it impossible for passports to be traded with one another even though they are the same item. Non-fungible tokens are indivisible they cannot be divided into smaller denominations like Bitcoin Satoshis or XRP into drops, for example. They exist exclusively as a whole item. NFTs are also verifiable. Another benefit of storing historical ownership data on the blockchain is that items such as digital artwork can be tracked back to the original creator which allows pieces to be authenticated without the help of a third party. Flare Finance created a number of different non-fungible tokens to reward their most dedicated beta testers. They are now part of history, stored in the blockchain. These NFTs can be sold by the owners if they wish, and this is just a single example of an NFT. Why non-fungible tokens are important. Non-fungible tokens have become hugely popular with crypto users and companies alike because of the way they revolutionized the gaming and collectible space. Since November 2017, there has been a total of over 174 million spent on non-fungible tokens, many of which come from the gaming industry. Gamers often put many hours of dedication into a game, but they do not have anything to show of value for it. They have no stake in the system. In the traditional gaming world, the secondary market for in-game items is a $50 billion market. The gaming model is changing. Users will soon be rewarded for playing games by unlocking items which they can custody themselves. Imagine being able to buy, sell or trade assets which you have unlocked in the game with other users. Let us briefly divert our attention to what Flare Network Limited CEO Hugo Filion has to say on the potential of the Flare Network and how it relates to the gaming world. Um, and... As I, you know, if, if you were going to ask me where I think this year is going to be focused, I, I, I'm hoping it's obviously going to be focused on DeFi, but also principally gaming. Um, I, I personally think gaming uh, is, I personally think the products of gaming, which are assets themselves. So if you think you're, you, you, you go through a game, what are you earning? You're earning a new, a new car, a new shield, a new this, a new that. Those are almost the purest representations of real digital assets that should be tradable. And that is where I certainly see a really strong and exciting future. So what is Gala Games? Well, 
Gala Games was founded with one goal in mind, to give power back to the gamers. Their mission is to enable freedom through play. To this end, they have embarked on one of the most ambitious development projects to date, the creation of the Gala Games ecosystem. Gala Games have created a partnership with the Flare Network, but why? Well, the initial functionality planned by Gala Games is to enable and incentivize the minting of Gala Games game-related NFTs onto Flare. The non-fungible tokens can represent a number of in-game assets, such as cars, weapons, or costumes. Previously, Gala Games have integrated only with the Ethereum network, which can present players with costly fees and long transaction times. By providing alternative solutions, they are pushing forwards towards a goal of becoming chain agnostic, which ultimately provides players with greater choices and power. As Flair works towards the launch of the network, Gala Games will be releasing further information about the integration and some fun and exciting ways for Flare users to interact with Gala, including competitions and special rewards. I will be sure to cover this information as it is released. If you are looking to accumulate Spark or Gala tokens, BitTrue entered a three-way partnership and allows trading of both. Although the Spark token currently trading is an IOU, it will be redeemed for Spark once they have been created when the Flare Network launches. Something else to consider is the fact that any Spark you accumulate before the Flare Finance snapshot, which is one month after the launch of the Flare Network, will increase your allocation of DFLR. If you are interested, you can find a link to the BitTrue exchange in the description below. So there we have it. Non-fungible tokens may be a huge driver for the mass adoption of the crypto industry. Gala Games have created a partnership with the Flare Network with the intention of giving Gala customers freedom of choice of their preferred smart contract platform. This change will serve their customers and allow them to utilize smart contracts at a reasonable price. Sorry, Ethereum. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, then please feel free to like and subscribe. And if you would like to further support the channel, why not become a member and join the Flare Community channel? Click the join button below to discover the various benefits you will receive as a member. With that being said, I wish you all a great day and until next time, I'm out.